coming up. I've missed him. I've missed him. My whole family has. That's very sweet. Okay, P. Shout out. And um, one of us, either me or Doris, one of us is going to show and give tips and hints on cutting a watermelon after this video. So there's going to be another one going up. Thank you. Shout out Okay, Peace. And next is a uh, pot two. It's a spring tasty salad from Okay, Peace. Awesome recipe. Thanks. She, she, she said, thank you, shout out. Well, yeah, it was delicious. It didn't last long. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a big bowl of it. And, then. and next is from Doreen, F-O-R-A-U-R-E, A-U, E-R, shout out. And it's David's two-ingredient pizza. And something about it, they, they were using that. Yeah, it's on hot dogs and cow. It was a concoction that David and Chris was doing together. So yeah, sorry, but hot dogs do not belong on pizza or in a calzone. Does not look healthy or appetizing. Well, they liked it. It's kind of the point. <laughs> they liked it. David and Chris was doing that. So putting hot dogs on top of a and inside a calzone and on pizza. It was. David, it was a funny recipe that David and Chris was doing for entertainment. Not everything is serious, so And grow I don't up. think it was meant to be serious. And yes, they put hot dogs in all kinds of... They, I think they were trying to outdo each other on who could make the most craziest ingredients. And that was the fun of it. And thank you for watching. Shout hot dogs out. and ice cream. That, ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't even want to try that. Chocolate covered hot dogs. Now that might be good. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next is from O.K. Mitchell. David, shut that volume off. O-K-A-Y-Y -O -Y dot M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Shout out. And um, that was about, <laughs> yep, my... Churros that I attempted to do. They look like french fries. Oh, I love the sweet little boxes of french fries and the happy face and the okay. So here it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the nice shout out. Hey, I did my best. And I got to admit, I didn't know what I was doing, but that was the fun of it. <laughs> hey, maybe Doris and I'll have to go and get the churro mix and maybe the, you, you do want to try it for some fun. See if you can make homemade churros. <laughs> that was a real challenge. It looked like pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. That's the fun of it. Okay, next is okay piece. And um, putting a ceiling, putting on the ceiling. It's the beginning of putting on, the, putting up the ceiling in, in the room we're working on. Okay, looking forward to seeing the results now on all of you working together, doing it. It will be very pretty. Thank you, OK Peace. That's so very sweet. Next is the Curious George Monkey Cake from OK Peace. That is one cute cake. I love your ideas. You you did with it and with the candy as sprinkles and everything. It's just so cute. My youngest daughter is a big fan of Curious George. So I'm going to try to make that cake when it comes time for her birthday. Thanks so much. I guess I shouldn't have read that on here. <laughs> Because I know your kids watch our videos. So thank you. Yeah. Well, let me know how it makes up. And you might even want to send me a picture. So thanks. Shout out to OK Peace. I, I keep those comments coming. I just love them from everybody. Next is William Esterman. Well, I'm going to handle this one. Okay? okay. And the ceiling. You can get the next one. Okay. Did Chris move out? Where does he live now? Also, Donna, what is your favorite YouTube channel? First question. Did Chris move out? Yes, he moved out with his girlfriend. Two, where does he live now? I don't really know. Him and his girlfriend moved, moved he moved out to be with them. They're, they're living together somewhere, and um, Chris moves here and there, so I don't really know. Also, Don, what is your favorite YouTube channels? Well, I like to watch a variety of channels. I don't have really, per se, favorite YouTube channels. I really watch on YouTube whatever I'm in the mood for to watch. I watch some cartoons on there. I'm watching um, Fairly Odds on YouTube. Um, I'm, I watch um, The Grown Up Creepy when I'm in the mood too. And 
I can, uh, if I'm more watch a movie and I don't have it and I can't get on Netflix, I'll check to see if it's on YouTube. I have just, I, I just, you know, have a variety of channels that I, I, whatever I'm in the mood for, I like to watch. I don't have, per se, a certain favorite one, but I hope a lot of you out there consider my channel your favorite, too. And, um... Um, I look forward, to, more important to watching my favorite YouTube channel is getting messages from my viewers. That's my favorite thing to do, is to hear from my, the viewers out there and our subscribers and trying to make all of you happy. That's my favorite thing to do on YouTube. And But I love, I don't have, I like all channels on YouTube. I don't want to, and, and you know, that's just how it is. But other than YouTube, my favorite channel to watch is Netflix. I like to watch Netflix. And because they have a lot of cool things on there. So that's my favorite um, YouTube. I, I watch a lot of different YouTube channels. You know, if they have something I'm interested in looking at at the time. Uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, they have historical information on there. I watch them and um, I gotta admit, I watched a lot. Every viewer. Every YouTube channel that has something about that poor dog that that steward has put up in the plane. I was so upset by it. I was literally looking at every single YouTube channel about that. And I like to hear from all my viewers and all the subscribers. <coughs> That's the most important thing to me. Sorry. But I like all the little YouTube channels. You know, I like to watch the viewers with the little YouTube channels. And I often watch the viewers on um, <coughs> the Amberlynn <coughs> Files. I watch that. When there's new information on that, I watch the Anne Boleyn Files. That's one of my favorites. So, as I said, I have many favorites. And thank you, William, for watching this show. And these, keep these questions coming. Love them. Thank you. Shout out to William Esterman. Shout out. Uh, and next is um, from William Esterman again. Okay. I have a tattoo. And Chris tattoo. I have a tattoo that says Poop Man on it because that was my nickname when I was in the band and played that Marachi, Marachi, Marachi. music and also one time I was, anyway thanks see ya see ya okay, mm. okay. Oh, well thanks for letting us know about that and um <laughs> I hope you stay here for me again so keep watching Next is OK Peace and my fan dance in the backyard. Beautiful dance legacy. You're dancing again. Thanks for the awesome video. It's good to see you happy again. Oh, thank you, OK Peace. Shout out. I was never not happy. I was just, um, I don't know. We just went through that time with having a camera that was horrible. So it was just, but we're back. As you can see, we're back in the action again. So shout out to OK Peace. Next is from... Mickey McLean on the Spring Tasty Salad, part one. Wow, yummy. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Mickey. Next is Mickey McLean again, fan dancing in the backyard for Mickey. So graceful, such a lovely dance. Thank you, Mickey. Shout out. Next is from um, the Curious George Cake on Rolling on the Carpet Channel. <laughs> Very nice, very nice cake. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I'm glad we were able to fulfill your viewer request. <laughs> Next is from X Noob Slayer X on the Beef Cube Steak, which was a viewer request. Poor man's steak looks great. Yes, it thank is. you. <laughs> it was, and that was a viewer request, and we we had the. <laughs> I had to do a lot of thinking to make it good, and thank you. Shout out from, shout out to Rolling on the Copper Channel, and shout out to X Noob Slayer X. Next is OK Peace on the 24 Karat Gold Sunday Part 1. The gold and the Sunday looks great. Thank you, OK Peace. Shout out. And next is OK Peace comment. 24 karat gold ice cream sundae part two a golden delight looks yummy thank you shout out 